Today's grocery market share release covers the four weeks and the 12 weeks to the 4th of August 2024. Market growth over those latest four weeks has picked up slightly to 3.8%, which is the highest since March. More notable is that the rate of grocery inflation has stopped going down. So this is the first increase in the inflation rate since March last year, and so put stop to any speculation that we would see falling prices by the end of the year. Don't get carried away though, the current rate of price rises is very much in line with the norm of the three years prior to the pandemic. And then, of course, we had the hugely inflationary last couple of years. Of course, which shelves you need to visit for your staples will determine if your spending goes up or down. If you need more loo roll, then you're in luck. But if it's the cooking oil that's run out, then you can expect it to cost quite a lot more to buy the same product again. Now, it's certainly not a lack of promotions nudging prices up. Spending on promoted items is going up rapidly, while full price sales barely moved at all. Any predictions that brands were destined to be winning back share from own label this year have so far proved wide of the mark. Own label growth has again nudged ahead, with the strongest performance from the retailer's premium own label ranges. We were, of course, promised a summer of sport, and the sport has definitely delivered. This data covers the latter stages of the men's European football championships, with a big uplift in beer sales on the Sunday when England played in the final. Maybe because it was then Paris, but it was wine capturing the imagination of the Olympics opening ceremony viewers. And again, comparing against the same day the week before, sales rose sharply alongside those essential snacks of crisps and nuts. Summer, on the other hand, has taken a while to get going, but it has finally arrived at points at least in the last four weeks. Admittedly, that's comparing against a rather soggy month this time last year. The classic barbecue staple of burgers saw a sales surge alongside the accompanying prepared salads too, and then ice cream for afters. It wasn't all fun in the sun though, as many consumers turned to cough lozenges for COVID or other summer ailments. Looking at the retailers, Ocado were again the fastest growing grocer over the 12 weeks, with Lidl maintaining a strong second place. It's the two largest supermarkets that really catch the eye though. Firstly, Sainsbury's added 0.5 percentage points of share, which is the biggest year on year share gain they have made since, wait for it, July 1997. Now, not looking quite as far back, but still notable is that Tesco have now won market share every month since August last year, which is quite an achievement for the UK's largest grocer. The other share winner was Waitrose, which also grew at its fastest rate since November last year. Join us next time for a final look at the summer sales to see if the current promotional escalator looks like getting anywhere close to the top soon. And of course, which grocers have found a winning formula with shoppers. 